this video we are going to create the gears for your drawing machine using a program called Gear Generator. Now your design of your drawing machine could be different to this but generally you're going to need at least four gears. They could all be four different sizes or you could just have two different sizes but these two gears here that drive the levers need to be a different size. If you have gears that have got a few teeth in relation to the diameter you end up with patterns similar to this one that aren't very intricate but you get very strong patterns. If you have a drawing machine with more teeth in relation to the diameter of the gear you get more intricate designs. So the more teeth and the closer those variations between gear 1 and gear 2 of the ones that are connected to levers the more intricate the pattern. Right, open up Gear Generator. First thing you need to do is change this under Units to Millimeters. Increase that screen width to 200. That is zero. Increase the size from 8 millimeters to 80. That is zero. Take away the spokes because we don't need them because we need to be able to put screws in there to connect on our levers change the diameter of the holes in the middle to 4 so that's 4 millimeters same on the other one enter the thing that has to end up being common on all of your gears because you're going to need to make more than two is the tooth spacing so I'm just going to change this to 15 millimeters I'm going to keep that constant for this set now as you increase the number of teeth this has stayed the same at 15 millimeters tooth spacing, but you end up with a larger gear in its diameter. Now the largest we want to go for those diameters for the 15 millimeter spacing would be 24 teeth, which ends up being about 120 millimeters. You can adjust both sets. So that's on. the second gear, gear 2. So your design could be based around a 15 millimeter tooth spacing or a 10 millimeter, I'll just double click, or 10 millimeter tooth spacing. But if you're going for 10, obviously you would change the number of teeth dramatically and the maximum you want to go up there for your number of teeth would be 36, which gives us a size of 119 for the overall diameter. The other size that's quite good is 7 millimeters, and in that one the number of teeth maximum would be uh, 52 because we don't want to go any bigger than around the 120 mark for the size of the overall diameter. I'm just going to change that to 250 millimeters. Now the number of teeth has a direct relationship to how intricate the pattern is. got four here. I'm going for the ones with a seven millimeter tooth spacing. And probably going to do five and that's going to give you a few more variations for when you make your drawing machine or do, do the testing. So what I need to do is I'm going to take away all this extra detail because when we go to convert this to a DXF file which we're going to use with a laser cutter we don't want any of these grid lines. We just want the gears themselves. So I'm going to cross off all those. Now I've just got the gears, but I'm also going to go click on draw unmeshed so they are separated. So I'm going to do a range of gears. I'm going to have a 52 and a 48. So I'll move this one up to 48. And I'm going to go export. DXF with polylines. 
save it onto the USB drive. Save that as gear one. Going to do a 44 and a 42. So all I'm doing is changing the number of teeth. I'm not changing the size of the tooth spacing, that is remaining the same at seven. That is critical. You just change the number of teeth to get different size overall diameter for a different gear. So I'll save that as well. Export DXF with polylines. This one will just be gear two. So I've got four gears. I'm going to do another one. Give me a little bit more flexibility. So I'll just do a 40 and I'm going to click on gear two. I'm going to click on the show. Click off it so I don't see it. I just want to save that one gear, the 40 tooth one. Gear three. That job is now done and we're ready to go on to the next stage which will be covered in the next video. Thanks for watching another video by Digital Dovetail. Like and subscribe.